Hello and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It is the week of December 10th, 2020. I'm Christina Reese. And I'm Christopher Blay. And we are counting down the top five art events in Texas this week. So number five on our list this week is at Moody Gallery here in Houston. And it's really, it's just a big group show of their gallery artists. I was thinking about this as a pick because if you want to just sort of get a lot of bang for your buck, you can go in to see this group show. Um, I guess I'm, that's sort of coming off of going to the Kinder Building a few times and seeing a lot of art by a lot of different artists. So you've got, you know, it's the Moody Gallery artists. They've got an incredible stable, as we know, like Helen Altman and Melissa Miller, Jim Love, Michael Bice, Al Souza, Gail Stack, Liz Ward, Sarah Williams, who we put on a top five recently. She had a solo show there. There's also a current solo show up by Bethany Johnson uh, that's sharing the gallery with the group show. So actually you'll get to see even more art than what I'm describing. But anyway, uh, it's, it looks like a handsome show. Good, uh, good stable of artists. And I, again, a lot of bang for your buck. Number four is Martha Hughes. It's at MH Studio in Marfa, Texas. She's been working on these for a few months now on her kitchen table and they're viewable through the window of the space as you walk by if you happen to be in Marfa, Texas. Yeah, and she so from dawn till dusk these are viewable in other words and this is her studio. I mean Martha Hughes is just she's a long time uh, Marfa resident and um, artist, and she's kind of one of these almost sort of hosts artists when you're in town for Chinati or whatever, she's a familiar name and presence. Her work is very graphic, it's very satisfying. She does paintings, she does drawings. Anyway, you can just stroll by this and see a lot of artwork that's up of, that she's she's been doing at her kitchen table for, I don't think it's just months, I think it may be years. Number three is Andrea Tolston at Terrain Gallery in Dallas. And the work is Paper Altars, and it's going to be up from December 13th through January 20th. And uh, Andrea is a calligraphy artist and a bookbinder. Mm -hmm. uh, and this work is sort of like uh, origami, mm -hmm. uh, our beds, and they are related to the Spartier which translates from French or Creole into English as flower beds or orchestra. She's making these little altars that will be in, in the space. And am I correct in saying that they are, like the space is mostly outdoors, right? It's always outside. It's always stuff that they've installed in the outdoor space outside of the house. So these little origami altars are gonna be outdoors and whatever the elements do to them, that's what happens and that's part kind of part of the work and part of the process of the show itself but andrea has been her name's been out there a little bit more recently she sent us also a really nice uh, five minute video toward the beginning of our covid lockdown of a show that she had i believe it was a twu so terrain's cool i mean it's kind of an interesting thing i think you're welcome to just go look around i don't think that you're meant to touch them but i think that you can walk around them and spend time with them number two on our list this week is rachel cox at devon board and gallery here in houston rachel cox i knew her back in north texas once upon a time she went off to grad school in new mexico and now she teaches in iowa she's a photographer these are really intriguing. She's good. She these are this is a new body of work and they're cyanotypes they're prints they're works on paper using a photographic method, really enigmatic little dwelling shapes, little uh, buildings that she's kind of created. They're very abstract and they're quite um, sort of quiet and a little sinister, but not. Um, it's nice to see this new body work. A lot of her photography in the past, she's really good at kind of training her lens on things that people don't pay a whole lot of attention to necessarily domestic, in domestic spaces and in spaces, whether it's even just like the jets of a hot tub or her grandmother's closet, or, you know, she'll go into a funeral home and photograph it empty when no one is there. And so the space is deactivated and she's seeing things that people wouldn't necessarily notice these strange details. But anyway, this is a whole new thing for her. And it looks yeah. like a show and it's at Devon Borden through uh, December 31st. And number one on the list is that, well, there are two parts that are number one. They're both at RO2 Art Gallery in Dallas. And the first pick is Brandon Thompson, Hard Work, No Play. 
Um, Brandon has been around making paintings for a while in North Texas. The subject matter of his paintings is based in his neighborhood in South Dallas. Um, people, places, uh, culture. And, but for this show, he's uh, sort of introducing a character, um, like the sort of the, the character of Burr Rabbit from the uh, crazy Southern tales uh, where it's like this trickster character. Uh, so a lot of the works in the show are populated with this uh, character that he's working on. And the second show at row two is Sierra L. Bryant, Server 3.0. Uh, this looks to be like a, a room scale collage of images on the walls, the floors, the ceiling. The work is similar to what she showed at the Nasher Windows project a couple of months ago. And she's been really prolific, having shows at 500X Gallery and just really just, yeah, doing a lot lately.